What's up guys, the Penthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 22 video. It is late on Wednesday at 6.35. I'm a bit late today. I was just recording a podcast that run over a bit. You know, I do like to talk, uh, but uh, we've got some content for today, guys. Um, there is, is my where's my control? There we go. There is, uh, from what I understand, no new objectives or, um, and it, well, there is a new objective, I suppose, because it's the... Uh, the silver stars uh he'll be in milestones today yeah there we go but the silver stars is i don't know why it does that it bugs out when it's like looking looking for the new the new setup but here is the silver stars it's gibbs white uh, it is accompanied by a future stars swaps token so make sure you go check that out and get that in he's got four star skill moves medium low work rates and it's a pretty cool card to be fair it's another um another english player which is real nice uh, it makes it uh, very easy to link with a lot of the other English players that we've got, whether that be Gordon or Phil Jones or Troy Deeney. Um, it's it's a pretty good card to have. And as far as a Silver Stars card goes, it's not bad. Positioning, shot power, real nice. Pace is quite good. Short passing, long passing vision is nice. Dribbling sucks a little bit. Physical suck a little bit. Um, but in terms of actually squad building for the Silver Stars squads and connecting players and, and using him and utilizing him in that manner he's not bad um we've also got some new sbcs for today uh so the player sbc is danny olmo team of the year honorable mentions danny olmo earn a special team of the year honorable mention danny olmo <laughs> you guys as simple as that um it's two segments to complete this card he is four star four star with high me sorry medium high work rates it's a bit interesting um i really like the look of this card for a whole bunch of reasons uh, he has got the outside the foot shot trait, which call me crazy, right? I think as the game develops on over the next few weeks and months and the way game plays right now, I think that might become one of the most uh, uh, like overpowered traits on a player. I think with the way shooting is right now, yes, the finesse shots from the top of the box are super overpowered. And from that particular angle, they're super overpowered. I actually think there's a lot more argument to be made for outside the foot driven shots across the keeper are far, far more powerful right now um, than any other shot type in my personal opinion. And of course that could all change with a patch or a live update or whatever. But in my personal opinion, outside the foot shot trait is absolutely sensational. And that's why I like him a lot because he's already got 88 shot power and 86 long shots. Um, so with a four star, four star on the outside the foot shot trait, I, I think he has potential to be an outstanding center attacking midfielder. His dribbling is really nice. Agility, balance, ball control, and dribbling stats are all real cool. He's got good stamina, good strength. He's got really good short passing and vision off the bat as well with good long passing too. And he's not slow, you know? So I think this card has cracking potential. Um, it requires an 84 rated with 65 chem and an 85 rated with 50 chem, a Bundesliga player and a Spanish player. No informs required, which is real nice. Because uh, the inform market has spiked again right now due to the other one of the other SBCs that's there today anyway. And that SBC is... We'll get there in a second. Hold on. We will get there in a second. Hold on. Well, there's Team of the, team of the Year Challenge 8, which also contains a Future Stars swap token. Um, and this is going to require 70 rated with 11 rares, 4 golds, 1 club max 4, same league max 6, Rare silvers and rare bronzes are about to go through the roof yet again. Um, and the reward for that is a mega pack untradeable. Good luck with that. But the one that has caused uh, the biggest spike is this because it contains another token. Um, it's a one of three 84 plus gold player pick. It requires just one squad to complete it. But that squad is an 82 rated squad with two team of the weeks. And that has made the inform market fly. Because even if you've got low rated informs, they're flying because it's only an 82 rated squad overall. So you can put in, for example, 280s, 281s, that Walker's Peters and Huang Zhou that pop all the time. You could throw them in and it doesn't make a difference because you're just going to absolutely very comfortably be able to put an 82 rated squad with 65 chemistry around it just from doing a couple of Premier League upgrade packs. In fact, you could probably even get the... the do you know what? In fact, it's probably cheaper to just build a Premier League upgrade pack a couple of times and utilize what you get out of that for this. It's probably going to end up um, overall a little bit more efficient. But uh, we're going to build this. And I tell you what, guys, I have seen a lot of people packing 
absolutely monster cards out of this. I've seen so many um, Team of the Years showing up out of this pack. It's crazy. Uh, so let's get our 65 chemistry Partey in there. And then uh, Chilwell and him switching around. And then him and him switching around. And boom, we get ourselves the, sil the, the Future Stars token. Of course, Future Stars starts on um friday and then there's a new team of the week as well guys and we'll go and look at the team of the week on footbin uh, in a second but let's see what we get from our player pick it's not a bad little setup to be fair i mean i'm is, is jonathan david tradable he's not i'm gonna take varan because the other two are duplicates but we get nominee uh, sorry honorable mention jonathan david um if we were to take him and Raphael varan and then let us pop on to uh footbin really quickly and have a little look first of all at gibbs white and olmo so here is of course gibbs white another championship player of course i think the maestro chem style on him is a cracking one shooting is superb passing is superb pace is good dribbling is as good as it can be uh, i'll go with that and then for olmo this is interesting 150k but i genuinely feel like this is a very good card i think one of the the good chem styles for him would be an engine chem style boost up that pace passing a bit more and dribbling a bit more but uh, I do think potentially the maestro for those long shots, insane passing. It boosts up the dribbling stats that he's missing. Of course, you can't improve composure. Now, as a central cam, which is where I would play him, those dribbling stats are outrageous. Those shooting from range stats with the outside of the foot shot trait, outrageous. 94 vision, 95 passing, 95 passing. I honestly think that is a top tier cam. And I will be doing him and I will be trying him out as well because I think he has the potential to be superb you could also go for a marksman on him insane shooting and boosting up that dribbling again in the right areas his passing is quite good as it is um so it that you know makes i guess a big difference um but other than that i wouldn't really put uh any other chem styles on him and then in the new team of the week guys we have got a sadio mane so another premier league player we've got informed Di maria so for your french league packs going in there we've got toko akambe the start the feature team of the week also in those uh french league packs we've got otavio ryan Barisic, Rondon, and then it just descends. And it is honestly a poor team of the week, as it was expected to be. Um, so Sadio Mane already down to 400-odd K. I mean, this is a very good card for, for its price. Maestro Kem style on him, you got a banger there. Maybe a marksman on him. Yes, that, that shooting, that physical, that dribbling. He's a 95-rated center forward, left forward. It's a brilliant card. Four-star, four-star. It's Sadio Mane, of course, is a brilliant card. Di Maria, of course, has a better card with way more pace, which is why the inform is already down at 40,000 coins. With that being said, an engine chem style makes him very, very nice. Good pace, good passing, good dribbling. Five-star skill moves, but two-star weak foot is a bit sad. Toko Akambe up as a striker. He's got the 84 left mid. Um, the striker has less shooting and less passing, less physical and less dribbling. Well, how about that? It's just all around worse. But it's a striker. And again, an engine chem style on him. He's not a bad card. I just think with the state of the game, with the power curve of the game, these cards aren't just... They're just not it anymore. You know, even Otavio, he's the next best card. You pop a dead eye on him. It just doesn't cut it. And the team of the week is really poor. But that, guys, is going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.